down the vendor cameras, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the, the founder, uh, the owner, the money, because there's the money. The money is here. I mean, the vendor founder, I mean, come on. You're putting things together, and if you've made it like. In, this is international because these boys, these young girls, they will be international. I mean, wh what went into, into your mind to say, let me just do something different? Uh, I don't know how different it is, to be honest. Uh, but like the vision um, from, from our perspective as Grand Entertainment as a collective, you know, is that like, you know, you want to give creators a space where it's conducive to work, you know? So guys got to feel comfortable. Everyone has to feel comfortable before you start creating all this type of music. So that's what we aim to do with Grand Entertainment. Give you a comfortable environment, comfortable space, where you're not compelled to anything, yeah. like you, you create out of your own skin. How do you see success on well, it? Well, well, well music is my first. Okay. Um, I've been in AR for like 12 years now. Okay. And thing and stuff like I, 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 I know quite a bit about music. So. <laughs> for the fact that you gave these young, 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 young people, the, I mean, the platform, where do you want to see them? I want to see them. Yo, jump in here. Ah, yeah. the young one, all the way from Cape I Town. I, I want to see them win, man. I've, I've had like really good conversation with, with these with these young ones. And you know, I've got a son, Coward, right? Where is he? He's, he's 11. Okay. Right? He's 16. Okay. So I look at him like my own son. Okay, I, yeah. I want nothing but victory for him. Okay. Be it as a deal, okay. be it as a, yeah. a contract. Yes. I just want him to win. Yeah, okay. That's it. So where do you find the band entertainment? Go on to Instagram, band entertainment, B A N D zero, the number, underscore entertainment, Twitter, all the handles, with my hub. I've got one of the finalists all the way from. Johannesburg. I mean, yeah. what did you learn from this uh, experience? Actually, I wouldn't say I learned something, but I'm still learning. You know, okay. there's more coming into into this whole thing, and it's okay. a really a big business. You know, mm -hmm. because right now, as you, as, you, as you can see, there's like top five finalists. Okay. Like everybody wants to win. You know, okay. it's all about like a heavy competition. So, what did you learn from this uh, uh, experience? From this experience, right now, what I learned is that um, all you gotta do actually is that you gotta bring yourself, like project yourself towards the people, like proper. You know. You never lose yourself, like originality and identity. Yeah. That, most things that matter. No, I, I, I love you. Oh, thank you. Man, so much. I want you to yeah. look. Yeah, uh, uh, for so the fact that you did ask that question, uh -huh. how then you maintain your brand? Right now, your look. Like, like Musa said, you gotta, you gotta post something. You gotta pull a stunt. You, know? <laughs> you gotta pull a stunt in order for people to be like, yo, it is so dead this, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'm gonna pull a stunt, but a positive stunt, you know. Yeah. Not gonna be a bad thing. Yeah. I'm gonna pull a positive stunt and like go expand, proper. I go by the name of Holy Alpha, aka Mama Ghost. What's up? What's up? What's up? Cape Town. All the way from Cape Town. <laughs> you know, for the fact that the last year we had a winner from Cape Town, uh -huh. and she was a lady, yeah. and she blew it. I know. I mean, I know you guys from Cape Town. You the guys, energy guys, from it, Cape Town is just ah, too much. Nice. Top. That's uh, where hip hop lives, man. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. So, so what is your take on this platform? Hmm? Like I really want to win. Everybody want to win. Okay. I want to win all the prizes. Yeah, you win. I'm gonna benefit the hard <laughs> if I get those things. I have plans for that money. <laughs> you know, I already have plans for that money. So like, I want to win. You I, will win. Everybody want to win. But um, let's just go, man. I want to see what's gonna happen on okay. Thursday, right? Yes. Let's go, man. I was looking at uh, three guys. Two, Two chicks. Yeah. One, the chick from Cape Town. One from Devon. Ah. How's the energy? No, the energy. This, e this, this energy is what I'm talking about. I mean, we want to see something. I mean, bubble. So you're killing it. You're taking it. So, 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 so what are you bringing into, into industry? Authenticity. Yeah. The neck. Yeah. I am that girl that I think I am. I'm here to take over. Y'all should be ready. Okay, Mama is there. That's all I'm gonna say. So, Mama. Um, oh, you just called me Mama. Oh, I mean, uh, damn. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's that's okay. I mean, for I love that. <laughs> I mean, for the <laughs> I mean, for the fact that you, you've been nominated. I mean, this was a long journey. How uh, how long does nominated that, for top yeah, five? To the top five. Top five. Okay. How long does it? took for you to prepare, to be ready, to, I mean, to leave whatever you, because 
must be been going to school. Whatever you. Ah uh, no, I'm, I'm not going to school. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Otherwise, I don't really get. I don't. I don't prepare anything. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Like, um, natural. Yeah, it's, it it comes out natural. You know? okay. I don't prepare anything. No. I just all I all I'm doing is just, just to pray. Okay. I, I pray. <laughs> I do my things and I'm low key. The things that you don't know. Uh, I already know what's going on. It's your boy Peter Prince, aka Lil Giant, straight out of the city. And yeah, I'm the hardest young. I'm the hardest young. Yeah, I'm not doing things. I'm saying. So what's happened in Cape Town, man? I mean, you've been part of this uh, this program. What's happened in Cape Town? Uh, Cape Town, things are moving a bit slow. So I just had, to, <laughs> had to take this opportunity because it only comes once. So you got one shot. Okay. You so so what, what did you take? What do you have learned from this project? From um, the inside, from what is it that you have learned from? I've learned more of the inside and okay. the business side of music. Yes. Because that's something I never knew about. You understand? Yes. So I feel like it really opened up my mind mm. from the business side. Yes. And that's I never even knew that was the most important side of music. Oh business, yes. Because usually us young and we just thinking about okay, blow up, mm. uh, we just wanna make songs and mm. be known. Mm -hmm. But yo, are we really making money? <laughs> you so, they yo. do. So where did you start prepping? I mean, where do you find yourself that rapping is a, your, your, your career, it's something that you like? Then? So, at the age of five, my okay. brother had a musical group. Okay. And I looked up to him. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. All the brothers you always look up to them when you want to dress like them, want to be like them. Yeah. So, I started rapping at the age of six. Okay. From Chris, mm. I was selling Chris, mm. and from there I just continued, and this is where I'm at now. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, just give us one line. Please start. One leg. Pretty boy, you know that I just be out here. I be with the band of camp, standing with the Z's out here, I'm G out here. They know what I'm about, tell them to speak out here. On the come, I'm bottom and bang, so let me preach my ish. Claiming you were in and a gangster, but you can't leave my shit up to the gym. We go to the party and make them go on lit. Rapping be my sport like I'm exercising, I'm too damn fit. The night, none you didn't know me. Now there's people on my... Yeah, let's go. I got Musa right here, uh, the, my piano. I mean, something that is... is Bubbling. It's, it's, it's. My piano is international now, and for the fact that you you're part of the, this movement, what is your take on that? What what is that you want to see on my piano? Well, I love the growth, man. I love how it's growing. I love how the collaborations are happening. Yeah. You know, international artists are actually reaching out to us, yes. trying to make it like a super big and yeah. global sound. You know, yeah. so I'm just really grateful for that. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So for the fact that you, uh, the such, such insights that you gave to the finance here and, and they, they heard you yeah. in terms of the branding and, and, and the how, how, how uh, look, I would say uh, the way you look, the way you brand yourself. I mean, uh, uh, that those words that you use, they did work for you. Yeah, they worked for me. They worked for me. I, I really had to look deep into what yeah. people loved about me. I just saw that a lot of women just like the way maybe I dress, <laughs> the way I look. Uh, uh, but they like something. Yeah. No, no, no. For, for the fact that you threw us this, uh, for, and and uh, what is that you capture that this young, 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 young boys or young girls or young artists they they they've learned from you today. I think they learned that branding is super important. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the biggest thing amongst everything else. Yes. Branding is like really important. Yeah. Also, the quality of your music. Yes. Is so, yeah, so the, the the platform that the the, the sports scenes the 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 the, 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 the pando. The, this because I, I remember I mean most people didn't really get this platform. Yeah. They have the platform, they've got studio, they've got everything. But what is your take and what what's the advice that you have for them? Yeah, it's it's really great to be collaborating yes. with brands like this. Yes. So this this is a step closer yes. you know, to becoming like really successful. When you have such people mm. that are reaching out to you, that are really helping you mm. push your music in the whole, that's really dope. So I'm really glad that the brands okay. came together yeah. and, and are, are doing such a thing for, for the young. But as Cambodia has been doing stuff international, and uh, for the fact that you gave the the insights for the young ones, especially uh, the the finalist on, on 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 this project, what is your take? What made you to become the international artist? 
you know, man, um, I learned very much on my brand, you know, my focus on my brand and what I want to do, long-term, short-term goals. Okay. And so it's more like a re investment every time because every single time I need to introduce myself <laughs> yes. to be an artist of quality, you know, yeah. to, to penetrate new markets, you know. Okay. So eventually that also happened, but based on what I do regularly and we invest on my brand. Okay. <laughs> that, that, that's dope. For, for the fact that you said that, I mean, you, you, you only, only you, don't, you do music, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't do hip hop, but you see, music, music is global and music is, is, is very you can can do it, whatever. So so what what made you go for this genre in terms of or, or, or this industry to be a musician? Yeah, no, it's all, it's all love. You know? Yeah, okay. I feel like it's difficult for me to be a person who is doing something daily that I don't okay. love. Yes, for you know, me to sure. who I am, yeah. Yeah. what I do on this every single day to improve. Yeah, it's, it's like I love what I do. So yeah, I really love music. And some, yeah, yeah. So so what 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 makes you uh, uh, be relevant all the time? Like, yeah, we we know myself. <laughs> it's hard work, man. Every single time, mm. I need to bring new flavor yes. of myself yeah. to, to the people, mm. whether it's new or existing audience. People yes. need to know something. Yeah. Like, no. What keeps this guy alive? Mm. What, like what, what keeps him going? Mm. So I do that like quite well. I think. So, so where we go from now? I mean, what what is coming up? There's a new album. What are you dropping? Yeah. Where where we find you? Well, definitely, man. I'm dropping a, a, a full project now in like a month. I'm, I'm dropping like visuals from a, a new uh, a single I dropped a few months back. Okay. And definitely going to social again. I mean, you've been yeah the legendary in the industry, mm -hmm. and you you you're just giving the insights in the business side. Uh, what is that that, that that you saw this this special day finalist getting fr from your perspective? I mean, you know, you you you, you get from young people what you get from young people. Yeah. Um, you know, I always say that when you when you're at that age, the main thing is to keep the main thing the main thing. You should not have to worry about the bombarded information <laughs> that you keep getting from people. Yeah. I think it's very important for them to actually focus on what it is they they do, which is making the music and and, and rapping and. You know, and from that, you know, it, it will trickle down everything. You know, it's, it would be a grave injustice to do to the youth mm -hmm. and expect them to have a world of experience yes. with someone who is a bit older and a little bit more experienced yeah. than have. Yes. So for them, it's just for them to to take in whatever it is they can take. It doesn't have to be everything. It's just little nuggets. Because yeah. um, you know, they'll learn it along the way. Yeah. Um, so experience, like I say, knowledge is lived, and yeah. they need to go the journey, walk the journey. So um, you know, I'm just excited that they're in a position where they're making music, yeah. and they're yes. in a position where they are, you know, encouraged and, 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 and happy to be in the space. And I wish them all the best. I mean, for, for, the, for the fact that you've been in the game, and there, there's one uh, one thing that I picked from you is that you need to get the right partners, the right distributors. How do you describe the right uh, partners? I mean, like I said, the right partners is someone who can allow for your product to get to where it's supposed to go with the still with the integrity that it requires um, yeah. without losing any value along the way and by value I mean like uh, maybe it doesn't get delivered on time or okay. maybe the quality is not good or maybe it gets rejected consistently um, you know you need to keep that value the integrity part quite in tune um, you know we run a distribution company or a distribution app the first smartphone okay. distribution app that you can download and just distribute your music from your smartphone and you know we understand what the challenges of independent yeah. artists are that we yeah. service every day Got you. but also we know that with the growing with the growing user base of about yeah. four or five thousand artists okay. we know that nice. It's very important for young guys to be able to have the tools for, to allow them to communicate the right way. As easy as it is to use Instagram, Twitter to promote your music, it needs to be that easy to yeah. distribute it and to get it to the sponsor.